pretty much knew what my heritage was, but I figured it'd be fun to do. So we got my the tests and we sent them off and got the results back. And as we started going through the results, I noticed that mine weren't quite what I thought they were gonna be. No. My father was adopted from an orphanage when he was two months old. And I knew this, and I had his original birth certificate that listed his birth mother and his birth father. As I started on Ancestry and trying to connect the DNA to the family tree, things weren't connecting. Now on my dad's birth mother's side, they were connecting. I was related to every Miller from here to, to Timbuktu. But on the, the name that had been uh, listed as the birth father on my dad's original birth certificate did not match up with the DNA results. And I couldn't figure out quite what was going on. And I then I got a call from my daughter who suggested a DNA test because one that she had done revealed that my so-called birth father wasn't. I spent months poring over the DNA connections and I began to see a lot of similarities in the places, the people, and the dates. And the common denominators seem to be two particular surnames, a tiny town named Kellogg, Idaho, and DNA. And so I was able through the Ancestry.com, the DNA, to determine that my father was a descendant of Walter Knox and Carrie Fulton. I tracked down a man with those two ancestors from that small town who I thought might be my missing link. I told him about my research and I told him from what I know so far, I believe we have the same great grandparents, but I'm not sure how we're related and he very willingly offered to help me and he sent in a DNA sample. And when the results of that sample came back, he was a very close match. So I knew that I was from his family. I thought this is a great ending to the story for me, for my dad. I was able to do this historical research. I was able to connect the dots. I was able to find the family that he was from, this pioneer family. And I thought this will be so great, it'll complete my dad's history. I made him a video as a gift, and I thought that that was the end of the story. What I didn't know was that when I posted that little video on my Facebook page, that some of the relatives would see that video, and they would recognize my father. They contacted me and they said, we think we're related to your dad. Not that they knew my dad, but that he looked just like their dad and he talked like their dad and his mannerisms were similar and they said he's ours. Okay, you already made us cry today. Welcome home. I'm Marianne. Hello there. Hello there. So glad that you came oh, out. Like, most like you. <laughs> How are you? I'm well. You do. You have my notes. I know. <laughs> you in front of you. Oh, Team Knox. Even though it's taken 77 years for you to get here. 78, right? Not till August. Not till August. <laughs> okay. You're still one of us. Thank you. And we all know you look, look like you. <laughs> you got, I mean, Tanya looks like a combination of us. Isn't that funny? My dad and I are proud to be members of a family with such a grand history and some pretty strong and distinct genetics. For the first time in my life, I look like someone. I did this as a gift to my father. I set out to solve a decades-old mystery, and I ended up with a family. <laughs>